I'm one half of the artistic duo called Space Filler, which was commissioned to build this interactive, projection-mapped shoe pedestal. In this video, I'm going to give a quick behind-the-scenes look at our process, from initial concept to final design and implementation. An early seed for the project was my discovery of a pre-existing algorithm called Conrec, published by Paul Burke in a 1987 issue of Byte magazine. This algorithm draws contour lines of mathematical functions, rendering old-school digital topographic terrain. After playing with the Conrec algorithm, we became interested in topographic maps in general. We had the idea to create a physical topographic terrain and projection map it. I tested the idea using foam core and a small projector. This concept laid dormant for a while until my art collaborator, Alex Nagy, came to me with a project creating a retail installation for a leather goods shop to promote their new sneaker line. We decided to apply the topographic terrain idea to a shoe platform structure. After committing to this concept, I created a program to generate topographic designs. The program combines the Conrec algorithm I previously mentioned with another algorithm called Metaballs. Metaballs allows you to create blobby, almost fluid-like forms from circles and was a perfect fit for generating the type of terrain that we were after. I exported the final design from my program to a vector file that could then be cut on a CNC router. As Mr. Nagy assembled and finished the wooden structure, I worked on the interactive visual effects that would be projected onto it. I developed a method for generating ripple effects on vector graphics and added a particle simulation based on Craig Reynolds' 1986 bird flocking algorithm. Next, it was time to projection map the topography. This was achieved by building in some custom mapping functionality to the program that runs the projected visuals. We put pressure sensors under the top layer of the pedestal to detect the presence of a shoe. We used force sensitive resistors offered by Adafruit connected to an Arduino, which sends data to the computer. The visual effects can then be triggered by lifting a shoe off the platform and putting it back on. And that leaves us with our final product, a projection mapped topographic terrain that reacts to shoes. Thank <laughs> you.